I think that you are familiar with this place more than I am. And hello, everybody was in the whole universe called of this fine narration who brings value to my own experience. And we are in the Podolsk city and waiting for the trolley bus that will be appeared here or will wait uh, to till the one car will be here. It is uh, one more road taxi. We call it in Russia road taxi autobus. Yeah, it is actually because why is it taxi? Because uh, it has the kind of road when he goes. But but you ask for the stop and they will be stopped. Do you have the same types of buses in your country? Let me know because we have kind of uh, buses, yes, and we have also road bus taxis, uh, kind of. Uh, it is so actually we call them sometimes Gazel because they are almost always in the Gazel. And uh, where is it? Uh, they look this way, like this person, but without the without the container behind them and uh, but with the container with people i mean that uh, the box with people by the way on the background you can see ah you have this in your country because this uh, written in uh, this uh, <laughs> english latin script actually it is kamas we call it or or samasval it is uh, the loader i think so loader when you load something and it is uh, by the way, I don't know what is it. We call it Musarchik, but, but actually Musarchik is a person who is a garbage cleaner in Russia. And uh, it is the Musarnaya Pavoska. We, we can call it actually, it is a Russian language lesson for you. Musarnaya Pavoska, actually it is garbage carriage. We can translate it to, if you will translate it to word by word. But, but actually no, nobody has, uh, calls this uh, this way. They call it kind of uh, Musar. They will take musar. Musar actually it is trash uh, or garbage that uh, people uh, use. Uh, I, I, I didn't hear anyone who calls it some somehow like a specific machinery to clean, to clean uh, and totalize all the all the unneeded things. They call it garbage machine, <laughs> kind of. Okay and. Uh, uh, also today, what did I do today? Today I was doing voice overing, and it was nice because uh, previously I I didn't do a lot of uh, voice overs for somebody. Nobody kind of ordered from me something, or nobody write uh, wrote to me uh, before uh, that. Igor, can you do this? Can you do this? And uh, can you record for me? A uh, kind of personal. They did not ask for me. Sometimes on the comment section I see kind of uh, Igor, ca can you do kind of impressions voice impressions of somebody but one person wrote to me Igor can you kind of voice over my characters from my comic tunes and I said yes uh, you can uh, uh, kind of send me script and I will do and I did today I I did uh, I did voice overing of uh, Mark Mark it is the name of a person who is a kind of uh, unconfident and a little bit of I don't know how to say it it's when you have the, some defect, defects with your speech with uh, I, I remember this word it is on the tip of my tongue <laughs> idioms guys <laughs> okay it is uh, here I'm kind of uh, I didn't use this idiom for I think that I didn't use it uh, any any in my life but I, I heard about it and uh, it's my first usage of it after learning English for uh, at least four years on my channel and uh, <laughs> okay and uh, this person has uh, sketching sketching Yes, the scattering. It, is it correct for? Wow, Jesus Christ, look at this. Jesus Christ. Wow. A really interesting thing. It's like from 19th century, but actually it is called, do you know how? It is called with the, with the name of, in my, in my school, we had uh, the kind of competition Остановись мгновение And it is uh, called the same way But actually it is USSR, USSR book or something It is uh, stop the moment actually Stop the moment, stop the stop the shot I, I, I don't remember Остановись мгновение or something, or something like this it was called One more thing, it is for chess I think so Yes, we have your rook and also some pawns and uh, buy shops, bishops and uh, knights and queens and kings and also uh, eight times eight platform with some Harry Potter 
<laughs> the tools on it. I mean, chess, uh, they played chess in uh, Harry Potter. Okay, I did that. I, I did uh, voiceovering today. It was good, nice, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, it was without. Not not sometimes actually. It, it was it was without swear words, but sometimes I needed to use it because another another characters they were using them, and I need to kind of read the script to understand all the matter that inside of this uh, thing to find the emotions that I should use because. You understand, you can voice over without a context and it will be kind of not really nice. Uh, sometimes, yes, you maybe uh, will be on spot, but uh, it's kind of random. But when you read the script, you actually can kind of predict what's the emotion that the person should say. For example, somebody took from you your book, your own book that you like, and you need to say something to this person. And if you are kind of, uh, Jesus Christ, it's mine, and uh, then you use a specific emotion to describe that uh, Jesus Christ, it's mine, don't touch it, or something like this, yes? And, uh, okay, it is about it. Where's my bus? Ah, I don't know, and <laughs> because I need to be on my lecture today. Today will be my lecture on on the pedagogical practice for the diploma. For the diploma, it is uh, pre-diploma practice. Actually, it is ended ending practice in my university till twenty fourth of May of the, in this year, and uh, of this year, yes, and. Uh, I need to finish my master's dissertation. I almost ended it actually in terms of I know the structure what will be there what will be here actually need to a little bit uh, to continue writing. I already have more than 20, 40 45 pages 45 pages is already nice 46 even or 47 and uh, I need to continue it to write actually 70 80 will be nice enough and uh, then need to kind of uh, edit it, proofread it, and everything will be fine. And also, also, I want to say that I started to write my doctoral <laughs> dissertation, <laughs> PhD thesis, we can call it. In Russia, we, we have uh, two doctoral dissertations for candidate and for the doctor. It is uh, the difference between education in your country, because you write only PhD and that's all. We write two volumes of it. We have candidate, and also we have doctorate and uh, doctoral dissertation. And I started to write it, I started to be interested in it, and I started to think about what's the topic, because to write the dissertation, doctoral dissertation, you'd need to, to have uh, articles written. Hold on, I think that we can make it beautiful. Yes, and when it's beautiful, it's a beautiful freaking day. Yes, <laughs> amazing. And, uh, I, and uh, I needed, uh, what, what I said? Ah, I started ah, to write the doctoral dissertation, actually to be, th th that it will be good enough, that people will say that it is good, that it is amazing, and you are Igor the PhD, they need to see your articles that you've written on science topics. And uh, before of it, yes, you can get actually, but you need to write then uh, super mega nice uh, doctoral dissertation with some investigations and uh, something else with uh, some of the really like Jesus Christ, it's amazing, it's new, it's the Nobel Prize winner. winner. Yes, but actually, if uh, if you have something like average or maybe a little bit more better than average, then you need to have articles and. You have two, three articles at least published on the specific acad kind of academy, on the specific agency of the education in Russia. It is assessment uh, thing. And uh, actually need to write more, kind of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or even more if you have the opportunity to write some science papers and uh, to publish in this terms of uh, the agency will say to you that it is nice, it is the most uh, hardest thing that they need to, they need to do assessment, that is a really a scientific proof thing. And uh, it is not like uh, you wrote and that's all, and you publish somewhere like a journal or magazine, <laughs> the, the beginner of the nature, yes, of the beginner of the science. Uh, it is not, it is, uh, you need to write really nice. Uh, for In the comparing with master's degree, you can actually uh, go to the conference, to some of the kind of uh, easy type conference, and you can say something. Oh, I already, uh, I already, by the way, did two science works uh, in the previous, uh, in the previous two months, I did it. Uh, I did the analytical note, 
analytical note about uh, analytical research on sociology research on, uh, on, 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 on hobbies. On hobbies in Russia, I told you before, and also I did one more about uh, wonderful Wizard of Oz and also the Emerald City and uh, the comparing of these two literature books and uh, making the the resu uh, results, saying the results and uh, covering the results that we finished. Oh, Jesus Christ, my bus! Thank you a lot for watching! <laughs> In Versal Dele, write your doctoral, <laughs> doctoral thesis and everything will be fine. Doctoral dissertation. Have a good day. Bye.